It's Friday, and of course, I've got my spine, I've got my orange crush. I'm not sponsored, I just was thirsty. And of course, you know what it is. You know why you're here. You're here for the Friday episode of On the Peg with me, your host, the blue-eyed, eyebrow-raising, monster, ugly, horrible dude known as the Mad Montreal Man. Well, today, uh, it's going to be a big one for you today. I am just saying. I got something in I wasn't expecting to get in, but it came in, so we're doing that. So, to give you an idea of what we're doing today. Well, I am going to mention something cool to pick up. I'm also going to be looking at a giveaway, a small giveaway. I will be looking at, of course, Blackfire and Starfire today. It's about time. And, of course, <laughs> what I wasn't expecting. That's right, dark, dark side. I got him. I got him. <sighs> but to start the show off, I want to do a special shout out. Chase. Chase. Chase, thank you so much. Chase was nice enough to part from his collection and sell it to me, the variant John Stewart. Because you know what it's like, right? You're a diaholic. You're always chasing those variants. They're hard to get sometimes. I've still got a list of a whole bunch of variants I'm looking for. The Aquaman from this series. Hawk. The Dark Firestorm. And now the Spectre and Psycho Pirate. Not even counting some of the old ones I never thought about way back when either. Go figure. But no, no. So thanks to Chase, I've got this wonderful action figure. So we're going to start the show off with this guy. But before I even get to that, because I realized I'm behind on my shout outs. So I got a whole bunch of shout outs to do. Okay? Right? So I'm going to try to do them. Uh, you might not remember what I, I've already looked at some of these. Like, for example, Jason sent me those variants and estros. Thank you, Jason. Uh, Tyler, one of my guys I've dealt with in Montreal, Tyler sent me the Superman and Crypto, which I didn't have the variant of. I've also dealt with him before. And Wes, well, there's a funny story about the Blackfire. I ordered it from Wes. He sent me one, but the same day he put one in the mail, I got one at GameStop, thanks to the manager, Chris. <sighs> yeah. There's also Andy, because I mentioned last time that I got a whole bunch of Chase stuff I was looking for, like the Flashpoint Batman, the negative, you know, Batman from Earth-52. Thanks to, basically, Andy, who was nice at the part of his collection, I got those. I also want to do a shout-out to Firestorm, uh, to da da Robert, to send me Firestorm. There was also, oddly enough, I got a... <laughs> another firestorm as well because i basically asked another person if he still had his death storm so thank you michael and of course a bunch of other people too like for example there's dara and i had to send us out a shout out to jow hope he didn't say your name wrong got some loose figures from him andrew sent me some loose figures i also got some some loose figures from mark so shout out to all you guys i hope i didn't miss anybody and as for my subscribers I'm still working on putting that list together. Some of you don't have YouTube channels, so it's kind of hard to figure out who you are. So if you are a subscriber and you're not Shane, because Shane, I love you, brother, but I know who you are. But if you are a subscriber, just leave me a comment with your name so I can give you a shout out. I want to do the, the subscriber shout out next week. So please, if you watch this video, just, 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 you know, well, hit like and subscribe or hit like for sure. Put your name in the comments so I can give you a shout out next week. But let's get back to the point. Let's take a look at John Stewart, the variant. And of course, now that I got another pair of legs, I can do another plastic man. So let's take uh, him out of the package. And we'll be right back.
just saw in the close-up, it's the same little green thingies. Now, what do I think of the variant GM? Well, to recap, I did like the texture on the Green Lantern suit from the uh, other version of him, the regular version. And you know what's kind of amazing, too? Just, just popped in my head that I was able to get this Chase variant from a guy named Chase. Chase, you got a great name, buddy. I bet everyone's after you, though, because everyone's looking for the variants. <laughs> But no, thank you once again, Chase. I actually want to say I actually like this version of Jon Stewart compared to any other Jon Stewart. The face sculpt, I think, is one of the best face sculpts they've done. And as for the symbol, I like it. I like the fact that it's not your typical Green Lantern symbol. It's just white on green with the black in the background. <sighs> Definitely. I even gave his little power thingy. But no, this is a great figure to have. You know, slowly got to build up that Green Lantern collection. So, hey, McFarlane, Todd, my fellow Canadian, if you remember the DC Direct series, because I'm not a big fan of the way those were made, because that's why I didn't buy DC Direct originally, because I didn't like that weird sort of pelvic joint they had. But when you started doing multiverse, I got hooked. Shame. <laughs> but... The DC Direct did do something that you haven't done yet, Todd. They did a whole series of Green Lanterns. They did Rocket Red. They did Fire, Ice. They did Guy Gardner. Hint! <laughs> Todd, we need more Green Lanterns. Do I need to freaking beg? Please! <laughs> we need more Green Lanterns. We need a break from Batman. I'm just saying, Todd, I love Batman, but, you know... The fact that you've been giving us other stuff. And by the way, Todd, even though I haven't received mine yet because I did pre-order it, that's another thing about GameStop. Definitely do your pre-orders because one thing I've discovered, if, say, McFarlane Toys doesn't get enough pre-orders for a figure, they might not get it in. It might get canceled. It's the same thing with Marvel Legends. These companies now rely on people doing pre-orders. Even if that's through the store, do the pre-orders to make sure they make enough figures to at least get those people happy. Good example. Joker and uh, Punchline. Pre-order. I got it. <sighs> so, yeah. so I had to go on a little bit of a thing there. That's who I am. And like I said, okay, I'm going to give you a heads up. There'll be a lot of mention of GameStop today because it's because of them that I got... <laughs> but we're not doing him right now. No, 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 no. So, uh, as I was saying before, I'd order something from Tyler, which was a black friend. I've gotten stuff from Tyler before. Same with uh, my, my buddy in Montreal named Wes, who will occasionally sell me stuff from his collection. Thank you, by the way. But uh, I picked up my pre-order of Starfire. And a couple days later, the manager at the Rito Center, GameStop, called me in. Chris is a great guy, by the way. Called me and he said, hey, would you want would you want this? <laughs> of course I said yes. And before I forget, uh, it's not just Chris, the manager, and Casey's the manager who work there. Shout out to Bob. Shout out to Miles. And if I miss someone there, I'm sorry, I'll get you next time. The Rio staff is probably the best staff I've ever come across. And I know you're thinking, I must be sponsored by GameStop. No, I'm not. I wouldn't mind, as I was telling Casey the other day. Hey, you want me to start reviewing other things like the animated universe? I'm on a budget. If I was sponsored and I got stuff sent to me and I didn't have to pay for stuff, of course I'd review it. After all, I'm insane. But uh, what do you say? Oh, it's painful to take him out of the package, but... <laughs> Scalpy! <laughs> I've got my scalpel. Uh, There's no going back on Starfire now. And there's no going back on Blackfire. All right, so we're going to cut away because I'm not going to bore you by showing you the boxes because after all, what's more important, cardboard or what's inside them? So we'll be back in a moment. So, uh, you know, hey, Get yourself some orange crush. Get yourself a beverage because you got to stay hydrated in this heat. Because if you're in the West Coast, well, odds are you're probably surrounded by forest fires. If you're in the East Coast, 
<laughs> well, you're probably being drowned by storms, so you need to get a drink to stay hydrated because you need your energy to survive the rains. If you're in UK, well, you just need a drink. Actually, by the way, someone in Scotland, please send me some iron brew. I've been hearing so much about iron brew, I want to taste it. I'm just saying. If you're anywhere else in the world, like, for example, if you're in New Zealand, it's kind of, kind of, you know, nice to have a cold drink. If you're in Australia, have a cold drink, too. Stay hydrated. And while you're getting hydrated, I'm going to open up these two. Back in a moment. Let's get the elephant out of the room, shall we? Okay. I'm going to call you out again, Todd. Seriously, Todd, would it have killed you to give us a Blackfire artwork card? Just saying. But the stats aside and the cards aside, ah. Well, you saw in the close-up, okay? So we'll start off with Starfire. Now, this is not the first appearance of Starfire. It's not how she appeared in the Teen Titans comic books by George Perez. That would still be really cool to get that costume. Just because I want to build an original Teen Titans, like, set. Not what you're thinking. I want the original George Perez Teen Titans look. It's, it'll be so cool. We still need a proper cyborg. But no, it's, it's more of the uh, New 52, more current version of Starfire and thankfully it's not the TV version because even though I enjoyed the Titans TV show I didn't like the character how she was portrayed I mean Starfire is supposed to be this alien babe with orange skin and a certain kind of drive that just and an innocence too which is nice but no the character I mean by, oh, by the way thank you Todd for the flying base at least but no there it is I mean this is and the hair that is some, like, anime manga-style hair. I really like it. I would hate to be her neck, mind you, but that is a gorgeous face as well. And I do have a Teen Titans shelf downstairs already. And let's just put it this way. It's pretty obvious. Front of the shelf! Yes, no doubt about it. <sighs> Been waiting for this one for a while, and now it's here, and I'm in a good mood. Just because I opened her up, finally. Great character. Which is kind of funny, too, because I, I haven't read DC Comics in, like, five years. I don't plan on getting back into it because I've seen what they've done. I've heard what they're doing, and I'm like, why do you think we did the crisis on Infinite Earths in the whole first place way back when? It was to fix all the continuity. And speaking of crisis, did you watch that third part? Oh, that hurt. That really hurt me watching that third part. Yeah. But let's not digress, because we have another action figure to talk about. Blackfire. Commander. Sister of Coriander. Now, she is neither looking like she did back when she first appeared. I mean, the original Commander, Blackfire, man, was armored, was silver armor, mean looking. <laughs> I wouldn't mind getting a version of that, too. But, no, this is a more current Blackfire. And I'll have to say right off the bat, the hair, manga style, you can barely see the purple highlights, but they're in there. They're gorgeous. The face sculpt, I know it might just be me, but I think there's a little, not just the paint, I think there's a slight little variation, just minute, a little bit in the face sculpt. I think it's mostly the limbs or how the lips are painted this time. But, no, she is also super gorgeous. Flight base as well. And, uh, you know what I have to say now, right? On the Titan shelf. Both of them, front of the shelf, no doubt about it. No Titan on that shelf is going to be able to beat these two because, frankly, they are fantastic. Sorry, Donna Troy, Titan, you're going to have to go a bit back. 
Yeah. Until they make a proper Donna Troy from the Teen Titans. Front of their shell. These two wonderful ladies are definitely taking the top spot. Oh, yes. <sighs> okay, I got to calm down. I got to have some orange crush. Because what's next is, you know, big. <sighs> okay. Whew. I'm just going to put... Uh, Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Oh, definitely. McFarland Toys. We need more female action figures. I still want a Power Girl. I'm serious. Oh, and a little, a little, little, little rant here. As you can tell, I buy a lot of DC Multiverse. I bought the three digital ones, right? Digital card thingy. I finally figured I'll scratch one. I will do one. Why not? Well, the one thing they don't tell you when you buy the digital uh, toys is that you have to have a digital wallet to get the code. I went through the hassle of downloading the McFarlane app onto my computer. I'll get to that in a little bit. <clears throat> went through all the steps. You have to have a digital app in a wallet to get this. So I looked into it. Every single wallet, digital wallet I looked at, was asking for credit card information. Now, GameStop in the States, you can just go to their own website and you get a wallet from them for free. Unfortunately, GameStop in Canada doesn't have that. So what I'm going to be doing, because let's be honest, I really bought the, the figures, not for the digital. I bought them because I wanted the action figures. So what I'm going to be doing... This is why you guys should be making comments. I'm just trying to find the right thing here. Ah, ignore the holograms of Lois and Clark. I have three digital cards that I have not scratched. So I'm not going to use them. I am not. So what I'm going to be doing in the, I guess the, oh, I don't know, near future, I am going to be saying, okay, I'm going to give away a digital card to certain questions I'm going to ask. And, you know, what I'll do is, if you answer the question, you'll contact me via, I'll, I'll mention how to contact me, and I will give you the code to get that digital action figure. Because, frankly, I don't really care <laughs> anymore about this. Yeah, it's just one of those things. And if you're wondering, I'm going to go on a little bit tangent here. Another thing I discovered about GameStop, because I never thought about it, you know, because I go there for my action figures. And I do know they have Gundam model kits as well, because I do like Gundams. And of course, they have games. Nothing for PC gamers anymore. But when I was down there today, and I was talking to Casey, and uh, I, I realized, you know what, I have so many TC Multiverse action figures now, that I need to get them in sleeves to card them, because frankly... <laughs> It, there's enough of them, and, uh, you know, and I never, I, even though I'd seen it, I never registered, GameStop does sell card sleeves. Well, they also sell cards, too, which I knew, but I never thought they had the card sleeve. So uh, another shout-out to GameStop for that. And the reason why I like that because something I was thinking about, because of the cards we've been getting lately, Okay. I don't like the photo cards that much. I mean, there are some nice photo cards that come out there with the DC multi-figures. I like the art cards. But wouldn't it be nice, Todd, every now and then? How about a nice hologram card? Just saying. I'm just saying it'd be nice. So, yeah, I bought a whole bunch of sleeves. I got all my holograms now in sleeves, including, <laughs> which would have been nice to come with him, Darkseid. So, what do you say? I know, it's Friday. I'm loopy today. I haven't slept much this week, but I'm in a good mood. Mostly because I've got... <laughs> the baddie of baddies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. All right, so let's get Scalpy out. Okay, this is one time I will show. Just because of the fact it's, you know, Kirby-inspired. Well, let's get Scalpy out. Ha! I love my scalpel. My scalpel is my friend! 
All right, so I'm not going to go through the whole process with this. So uh, I'm going to cut away. Uh, once again, get yourself a snack, get yourself a drink. If you haven't done it, hit the like button by now. Come on. And uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. It's not going to kill you. And also, if you are one of my subscribers, leave your name in the comments so I can give you a shout out. It's going to become important soon. I'm breaking the seal. I'll be back in a moment. So, but before we get to me talking about Dark Side, there's a couple things I forgot to mention. Okay? Another thing is, uh, I'm going to get back to Starfire. I, I won't talk about Blackfire has the same issue as well. So I did see other people review them. And I don't like getting too negative because I'm just happy I have a character that I do like. I will say Spare Hands would have been nice. That's pretty much to be expected now. But I will have to agree with one thing, one criticism other guys have said about the figures. The arms are a little bit, just a little bit on the thin side. To me, Starfire should have a little bit more muscle on the arms, same with Blackfire. And that's pretty much it. I just forgot to mention it before because I was too happy to get them out of the package. But yeah, spare hands would have been nice, but I'm sure I have spare hands somewhere that I could, uh, you know, Swap out, paint properly. But uh, the arms are a little bit on the thin side, but at this point, who cares? Front of the show. Okay, enough of that. Enough of that. Shall we get to the... I love the smell of new plastic in the afternoon. Well, there's Dark Side's alternate head, and that's probably the one I'm going to put on display. But you saw on the close-up, <laughs> yeah, and that's why I said, because it barely held them open. So, yeah. yeah. Now, I crunched up the cape for the close-up, so, you know, just because the fact... It's, okay, I'll, I'll show you. It is a, a decent-sized cape. But the funny thing is, I think they got the wires wrong. Because the thicker wire, the stronger wire is at the bottom. And this is the thinner wire. But Whatever. I'm going to scrunch them back up again. Do, 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 do. Okay. Now, I haven't warmed him up yet, but I just figured I want to get him out of the package. Now, there's some things I'm sure you're going to notice. The arms. Yes, it's a reuse of the mogul body. Who cares? Some people have gone out there and said, well, he's not big enough for Dark Side. Really? Really? Dark Side, if you read the comic books, over the ages has different sizes. He's a god, after all. Yeah, that is something, too, I heard about uh, that the shoulders had tended to pop out. <laughs> Unscripted, folks. Okay. So, I guess for articulation, there's a little bit of limit. Because, oddly enough, unlike most DC multiverse, it doesn't have that actual shoulder thing, it literally just pops in. But this is dark side. You're pretty much going to pose him in the... Or you might use the pointy finger. Have him pointing. But yeah. So, okay, apart from the arms popping out, <laughs> let's talk about a few things that I'm not too crazy about, but things that I do like. Okay, the cape. To be honest, not too crazy about the cape. Mostly because I think they got the wires wrong. And I've seen other dark sides before that just looked like this one I saw that I think it's a Mepco, Mepco, uh, Mafex one. What is it? One with these like all this armor and stuff. He looks really cool. Now I did manage to get a loose figure of the dark side from the movie, but without any armor. And I'm not even gonna bother comparing them because this is better. <laughs> I've said it. So yeah, so you know, the cape kind of bugs me a little bit. 
I'm not also a big fan of Big Giant D, because, you know, they don't always have it. And, you know, that face sculpt is cool. It would have been cooler to have, you know, zigzagging Omega Beams. Just saying. Everything else about this thing, I love. I'm so happy I got this. And the reason I got this, because I remember when this came out, when it went up for pre-order, everyone was selling out. It was, like, sold out. A lot of the... Uh, what I say, toy scalpers were trying to were getting them because they have many accounts. I mean, Big Bad Toys sold out, McFarlane store sold out. They were sold out at store level. But my buddy Casey at GameStop basically said, "Well, oh, well I went to pre-order." He goes, "They're sold out," and he goes, "Well, let me just check something." He checked the GameStop site in Canada, and lo and behold, it was still listed. So he helped me set up an account. I was able to order them, and yeah, I got them. So. Uh, Definitely, definitely props to GameStop here in Canada, especially at the Rideau Center. I honestly think it's the best GameStop in all of Canada because, well, I lived in Montreal. I lived in Vancouver. I live here. And, you know, so far, Rideau Center has beaten every other GameStop I've ever been to. Just saying. The staff there is amazing. It, it's just, I am so happy. The cape? Uh, well, you know... <laughs> I got to figure something out with the cape because there's just really the wrong wires to cape. I don't mind the fact that the arms want to pop out. I don't mind. Worst case, I could, you know, you just do it very carefully and you can pose them. But yeah, that's the problem. There's no extra little ring there to keep the thing in. But no, the great thing is it may pop out, but it goes in pretty easy. Do, 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 do. And who knows, maybe down the road, McFarlane Toys will do a Build-A-Figure Dark Side that will be a bit bigger. Because the other one I've seen is kind of really cool. I think it's a more expensive one. It's the one where he's like a dark blue like armor. He's got a, like a he just like a yellow mega. I never saw that here in Ottawa. I've seen pictures of it. It looks really cool. And I'm not talking the big 12-inch one that has no posability. This thing is posable. I can't remember what company made it. I would love to get that down the road too. But how about I get a job first, right? Because, yeah, yeah. pre-orders are coming in, and yeah, it's, we're, August is around the corner, and I'm kind of like, I got maybe two more months of this kind of like budgeting after that. Well, I need a job, because if I'm going to keep doing this, I have to have a paycheck coming in. But let's not digress too much, shall we? It's a good day. I'm in a good mood today. It was very easy for me to get into this character today of the Mad Montreal Man. Pretty obviously why. <sighs> I'm happy. And, you know, you don't, with this guy, you don't even need this. He just stands on his own. Except the cape is kind of weird. But besides the point. Ah. <sighs> Well, I should say that's it for this week's episode, but no, I teased you before. Now, I don't care what your religious beliefs are. I really don't, because frankly, I think all organized religion is a crock, but I am a fan of nice art. Obviously, I like DC art, too. So I picked this up the other day, and uh, I was actually impressed. Okay, so if you are a religious person, you think the tarot's evil, go away. Are they gone? Are those religious people gone? <laughs> Probably not, because there wouldn't be any religious fanatics watching me, because, of course. Why would they? But I'll just give you a little teaser here. Look at that artwork. I mean, for something that is... You'd find at a bookstore, you wouldn't expect to have, you know, good art in it. It really does. It really does. So I, I'm really happy I picked this thing up. I won't show you certain other cards because, well, okay, I'll show you Batman. Because nobody beats Batman. So, yeah, so even if you're not religious, but if you're a fan of DC art, I definitely say, pick this thing up. I mean, let's be honest. With what James Gunn's going to do <laughs> to the DC Universe, I think DC's going to need some money. Because I'm not too sure if their new comic book ideas are going to pay off. Now, if I was sponsored by a comic book store, I'd be able to read the comic books. I'd be able to give you a better opinion of what they're doing. 
I'm just going based on what I see in the media and in and, you know in press releases and so forth. So from what I'm seeing, DC Comics come October, you're gonna go down that horrible path again, creating multiple universes that people will have a hard time following. All because you're trying to fix the nightmare that the new 52 created in the first place. Okay, so enough of me ranting and raving. And uh, let's get to it. You know what Monday is, right? Monday is Mayfex Monday. So, Mayfex Monday. I'm going to simplify it for you this week. So on Monday... You can either see Poison Ivy and get the story about this one. You can see Darwin Cook Catwoman. Or Hush. You got three to choose from. Cyborg Superman. I'm waiting to get the multiverse one to do a comparison. So, you guys let me know. By hmm, Monday morning, which Mayfex you want to see on Mayfix Monday. And speaking of Mondays, for you Marvel fans out there, I don't know why you're watching my channel, but you know why I occasionally do Marvels. So for you Marvel fans, I did pick up a Marvel. I have a rule. Me and my daughters always had a rule. It was called Karma of the Last. This was the last one they had at the GameStop. And because I think the wings are cool looking... Yes, I picked up another six-inch figure of an X-Men, the Angel. And I already have other Angels in my boxes. But after the Mayfex is done, we will do a Marvel Monday again. But not just one Marvel Monday. No, no, no. Because another thing, you guys are going to think I'm definitely sponsored by GameStop, but I'm not. <coughs> but... GameStop is my main source for my for my action figures. And something that GameStop does here in Canada is they have $5 Fridays. Not a very often, but on a semi-regular basis. And if you go down on Friday, when they open up, there's a little bin that has $5 deals. Five bucks! How can I say no to an action figure for five bucks? So we'll have at least two Marble Mondays in the future. And as for next week, oh boy, I know that I have a whole bunch of stuff coming. <laughs> Man, do I got stuff coming next week. Oh, going to be a painful week for my wallet, even though most of it's pre-order, so it's not that bad. But next week, what would you like to see? Okay, I still have Batman and Bane. Haven't opened that one yet. I still got the Mortal Kombat. But I also now have Joker and Punchline. Now, Joker off the bat, it's a reissue. I still have my Kryptonite Doomsday. I still have Kryptonite Superman. I still have the Batgirl with the car. The Nightwing with the car. And by the way, that is a shout out. I mentioned them before. Two different people got me these. I've also got another shout out I mentioned before. <sighs> Patrocious Robin and Joker with the wings. And Shane, I know you wanted gargoyles. I'm sorry, Shane. You're going to have to wait for the gargoyles, okay? Okay. I'm saving the gargoyles. I'll probably do a special episode on the gargoyles once I have a space to display them. I, 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 I'm not joking when I say I need shells. I need shells. I am running out of space, <laughs> even with the shelves I set up in here. My shelves in my living room are full. <laughs> And the shelves I got up in here, well, they're, they're fabric shelves, so not everything wants to stand properly, so it's a bit limited. i got to find a way to make a solid base, which I'm still figuring out. But I need shelves, so gargoyles, Shane, you're going to have to wait. Just saying. I also have, uh, oh, oh, I forgot. I still got Booster Gold, too. I keep on forgetting about him. Not because I don't like the character. I love the Booster Gold character, after all. He's from a future Canada. Look it up. I just don't like the fact he doesn't have, you know, clear clear visors. But uh, I also have the uh, Justice League movie action figures that I got off another collector that I haven't opened up yet. And I've also got, you know, the Brainiac, 
a whole bunch of sketch things to open up. So let me know in the comments by next Wednesday. What do you want to see? Shane, don't say gargles again. They're going to wait. Which DC Multiverse would you like me to open up next Friday on the show? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. It's uh, just one of those things. And if you're wondering uh, sort of uh, what's going on, why the angles changed again this week, well, I'll give you a hint. After I filmed the show on Monday last week, I got it post everything else. My computer died. And I'm talking like, rest in peace. It died. I was up till 5 o'clock the, on the following morning. Basically trying to get... And we're talking like this died on Tuesday night. I was up till 5 a.m. Wednesday morning trying to get this computer to come back to life. It, it didn't. It didn't. It wouldn't come back to life. And uh, let's just put it this way. It's a good thing that I had... Let me just get to the right ones here. Now, even though I don't like selling things, but it's a good thing that I had a whole bunch of Wolverine holograms. I'm down to five. I sold one of my, like this is one of the better Wolverine holograms I had. I sold him and some comic books to um, a collector here in, in, in Ottawa. So I made enough money from that to basically do this. Yep, I had to take advantage of Prime Days and I got myself a new computer. But instead of being in the basement, it's up here where I basically do the show. So yeah, so what's going to happen for the rest of the night? I'm going to be up here doing editing and everything else. It's also probably why in the close-ups, you might have seen a glimpse of the monitor. Because... <laughs> This desk I have here is relatively small because, well, as you've seen before, I installed all those wonderful shelves over there. I took the, I banged my hand on the desk, put it over here for my Kryptonian universe, and of course my Marvel shelf in the back. So it's a pretty small desk that I've set this thing on. But uh, thankfully, I made enough money from selling those things to be able to get a computer so I could do the show for you. So you wonderful few that I appreciate very much because this gives me something to do every week. It's good for my mental health. Hopefully it's good for your mental health too. Because as you know, something I always like to say, it's very important. Especially in this insane world, you know, with the environment going to hell, diseases, everything else. And of course with the stress that everyone's under nowadays, it's really good that you stay healthy. So stay healthy, both up here, here, and of course, physically, you have to stay healthy. And of course, when you have days like today, <laughs> it's so much easier to stay happy. <laughs> and even though, like I say all the time, this is a character, this is not who I am 24 seven, that would be a nightmare. It's probably why I'm divorced. Uh, no, <laughs> no, but, even though you have to fake a smile, you have to get into a character sometimes, do your best to stay positive. Seriously, stay stay positive. I mean, and I, this is a good example of this week. Computer died. I'm on a super tight budget. I didn't think I'd be able to get a new desktop. I sold some stuff, made just enough money to get, and the great thing was too, it's a refurbished computer, so it's not brand freaking new. I didn't sell that much stuff. It's a refurbished computer, and it, I thought it was just going to be the desktop. No, it actually came with keyboard, mouse, and monitor, and all for less than $200 Canadian. So thank you, Amazon Prime, for making a good deal, because it really saved my show for this weekend going forward. But it just shows you, like, you know, you could be having a bad time. I haven't worked since December. I have this face and this mouth. You know, I have no social life. My computer died. But by staying positive, by finding that one little thing every day that you could just grab on hold to. Hold it. Hold it tight. Use your Omega Bean powers to grab that thing. And by staying positive, you get to have a better chance at a better day. Like if you'd have asked me Wednesday morning at 530 in the morning, 
after spending hours trying to get my computer to come back to life, I was like, God, life sucks. <laughs> Took my phone out. Uh, oh, they sold. Great. Because I won't go into details how I sold it, but you know, I got the money in my account and went, oh, okay. Took my phone. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll get. I'll get. I'll, I was thinking. I'll just have. I'll just settle for like a small little laptop thingy, whatever. And I saw this deal, and I got it. So, if I stayed a little bit positive. Boom! I have a new computer, and you have a show to watch on Fridays and Mondays. Isn't that a good thing? I think it is. <laughs> but no, it's uh, it, it's just one of those times where you just have to say, "F it, stay positive, have a great night, have a great weekend." Don't forget to put your name in the comments so I can give you a shout out. Oh, and I mentioned a giveaway. We are going to have a giveaway. <laughs> Nothing major, by the way. It's a pair of socks. Dark side. Now, uh, give me a second. I'm going to come back in a second. I'm going to have a question. If whoever answers it first, I will mail you these. All right. I couldn't make up my mind which question to go with. So it's a combo question. First part of the question is, what is Darkseid's real name? That's part one. Part one. Now the second part, okay, we all know Jack Kirby created Darkseid. We know that. He's part of the fourth world. You know, we know he came out in 1970. But where? You tell me, what comic book did he first appear in? Not just the title of the comic book, but also what number of the comic book did he first appear in? And I will give you a hint. It's not Forever People number one. So whoever basically answers that question first in the comments will basically get me to send them a pair of dark side socks. They've never been worn. I picked them up today at GameStop when I bought him because I just figured, you know, why not do something silly and sane? Let's do a giveaway. And this was there and I went, oh yeah, perfect. You know. <laughs> Give away dark side socks for a dark side. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the insanity today. <sighs> it does take a lot out of me to do this. It really does. It's uh it's tiring. Also under the heavy lights because you guys don't realize how many lights I've got on in here to get this thing looking like I'm not a zombie. So remember, remember, what's his name? What comic book? What issue did he really first appear in? And if you think Thanos is better, you're wrong. Jack Kirby is king. Okay. Uh... Wow, he's not even... This is what happens when an unscripted and unrehearsed show. This thing just went flying off the table. Go figure. Uh, I need another sip. I'm dying. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh. That does hit the spot. Oh, and before I forget, I almost forgot. Chase, once again, thank you for the Green Lantern variant. Because I was able to do this. I was able to put together another plastic man. Yeah. I'm not going to do a close up of Plast because he's kind of weird looking. He's not even really poseable. I mean, by the way, the leg does not really go in properly all the way. But uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> it would have been cool if the fingers were a bit bendy or it was a bendy rubber. Or if you could actually unclasp a hand, but you know, just the fact that I was able to build another one is kind of cool. Or put in next to the regular Plastic Man. I still think making a, a, a little thing of Plastic Man as a chair would have been the perfect joke. Because if you know Plastic Man, especially if the animated series, he did a chair joke a few times. But no, that's that's it for the show. Um, I've already told you to stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive. And remember, man, toys. It helps. And uh, we'll see you on Monday. Let me know by Monday morning which may effects you want to see. And don't forget to let me know by next Friday. Actually, by, not, by Wednesday, please. Which one of these guys you want me to open up? 
And uh, that's pretty much it for now. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope you do. I have you have a great start on Monday. I hope on Monday you tune in and watch the Mayfex Monday. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I got some customizing to do this weekend because some of those people I shot up before I, I were nice enough to sell me a whole bunch of loose figures at very affordable cost so I can keep on working on the Kryptonian universe, which is my other desk here, which I'm becoming obsessed with. But no, that's it. I will see you guys in your nightmares or on YouTube. As always, take care of yourselves. And thank you once again. And uh, don't forget, if you do know of a store that's really good, let me know in the comments. I will shout that, you know. Hey, I already give shout outs to stores I've never physically been to. I have not been to Castle Comics ever. I heard it was a good store from a few sources. I've never been to Forbidden Planet in London. But I hear it's a good store. The Big Smoke, even though I haven't done a credit for them, I hear it's a good store. Now, Tasmanian Comics, I've been to enough times when I lived in Vancouver to know it's a great store. By the way, Hartley, hope you're doing well. It's the same thing with Sub City. I haven't been there, but I've dealt with them before, so I know it's also a great store. And Sub City Comics, by the way, if you don't know, you want Irish comic books? Place to go. And as for GameStop Rito, well, it's pretty obvious. I'm a toy holic. They're my junkie. <laughs> but no, the gang there is pretty good. And I will see you soon. Okay, why am I not surprised you stay to watch the credits again? Well, I'm not going to do one of these guys today, but I do have something that I never thought I'd be buying, but I bought these for my daughter, Nicole. She doesn't want them, so I have a collection of these now. Anime little statues. So today, we're going to do a two-pack. We're going to do the what? Love Live Superstar. I have not seen this anime. I have no plans to. But I figure, what the heck, because I'm stuck with them. Let's take them out of the package, take a look at them, and see what I think. And I'm not even going to cut away. I'm going to do, I'm just going to use Mr. Scalpel. If you have a scalpel, you know scalpels are your friends. But no, let's get these two guys out and just see what they look like. Now this is something else I met. I, I got like I got like I said, uh, GameStop every now and then has these things called Five Dollar Fridays, and I literally went down one Friday, wasn't expecting to buy any of these, and they had a whole bunch. We're talking, I think, I think I bought like thirteen of these things, all at five bucks. I was thinking about my daughter; she didn't want them, <laughs> so I got stuck with them. Okay, I have no idea who this character is. Okay, who's who's this character? And by the way, if you've watched this anime, let me know. This is... Okay, her name is... I'm going to mispronounce this. Ha Hannah Samir. But Hannah spelled funny. Okay, so really nice size base. The great thing about these, they just got ripped plastic open. See, the reason why I'm doing this is because I know Shane, you watched all the credits, and you wanted me to do something different this week. So, I hope you're happy. Alright. That I don't do closest with these. She's decapitated. Now, the one thing about these statues is it's really nice because quite often they just go in pretty easily. And... Okay, it's a different type of base for a change. And the bases... 
are pretty good. There it is. I have no idea who this character is, but as you can see, it's cute. Let's do her friend, uh, Tang Kike. Probably the same base. Now, I do admit that there was two of these things I did buy before these that I bought for me. Spy Family, of course. Spy Family is a great anime. It's a great manga, too. Speaking of good mangas, I've been reading Kaiju Number 8 since it came out in English. I have not seen the anime yet, except a couple of snippets of it. Uh, I'm trying to find a store here in Ottawa that sells the Bandai model kits. I, I saw a reviewer that I do follow who does Gundams, and he showed me the model kits, and I went, okay, I want those. I went to the stores near here. No one here seemed to have it that I could see of. So that was not available here yet. All right, so once again, really cute head. Decapitated. Pop it in. Okay, I don't think humans normally stand that way. But let's be honest. That is a weird pose. Okay, that is definitely a weird pose. But let's be honest. Anime characters are not human. They're not supposed to be. If you actually look at, well, I have an animation in Greek, by the way, if you haven't, if you don't know. And what they do in Japan, because they want to do something different than, say, Disney, most anime characters, no matter what style you're looking at, are really, well, there's a few exceptions, but most anime cartoons that you see from Japan, the characters are actually based on cats. Makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? Well, there you go. Two more for a shelf that I don't have room for. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. We're going to thank the black. There'll be one more thank you. Nothing else. There's no bloopers today. Now go enjoy your Friday night. Go enjoy your weekend if you're watching this on Saturday morning. And uh, I'll see you guys on Monday. I knew it. I knew you would still be watching all the way to the end, Shane. But seriously, brother. It's Saturday morning. You're watching this, right? Okay. Finish your breakfast. So finish your breakfast. Kiss that gorgeous wife of yours. Tell her you love her. Hug your kid. Tell her you love your kid. Give that kid a hug of her. She's growing up. Got to enjoy it while you can. And then get out of the house, man. Go enjoy the day. Rain or sunshine, get out of the house. Go enjoy the day. Go hang out with your pals, your mates. Hit the pub. Have a beer. Watch some sports. Go catch a show. Enjoy your weekend. And, uh, yeah. Tune in next week. Seriously. It's Take care, Friday. Everybody. You know what that means? It means it's time for an orange crush. I've got my spine. I've got my orange crush. No, I'm not spouting. Yeah, yeah, yeah.